Did you know that the coffee we grind and brew each morning has a secret history as rich and complex as its flavor? Today, we are delving deep into the surprising tales behind everyone's favorite pick-me-up drink. Origins and Legends The origins of coffee are steeped in fascinating legends and historical anecdotes dating back for centuries. The exact beginnings of coffee are a bit fuzzy and not fully proven, but there are two main stories about where it started. One story is set in Ethiopia, and the other takes us to Yemen. The first famous tale traces the discovery of coffee to a goat herder named Kaldi in Ethiopia, who noticed his goats becoming unusually energetic after consuming berries from a particular bush. Intrigued, Kaldi tried the berries himself and experienced a similar boost in energy and alertness. Word of discovery spread, eventually reaching monasteries where monks began using the beans to stay awake during long periods of prayer and meditation. Another legend attributes the discovery of coffee to Sheikh Omar, a renowned healer in Yemen during the 15th century. According to the story, Omar was exiled to a desert cave where he survived by consuming berries from nearby bushes. One day, he roasted and brewed the berries, creating a beverage that revitalized him and allowed him to survive his exile. This brew, known as kawa, meaning that which prevents sleep, became popular throughout the reign and eventually made his way to Mecca and beyond. As coffee gained popularity, it became intertwined with social and cultural rituals, serving as the focal point for gatherings, discussions, and political movements. Coffee houses, known as Kave Kane in the Middle East and Kave Khans in Europe, emerged as vibrant hubs of intellectual exchange, where people from all walks of life would gather to converse, debate, and exchange ideas. Today, coffee continues to captivate our taste buds and fuel our daily routines, symbolizing hospitality, community, and cultural exchange. Are all coffee beans the same? Not really. Within this enchanting belt, four main types of coffee beans reign supreme. Arabica, Robusta, Liberica, and Excelsa. Arabica, the oldest cultivated bean, originates from the Ethiopian highlands and boasts a delightful fusion of sweetness, fruitiness, and subtle acidity. Meanwhile, with its robust caffeine punch, Robusta hails from Africa and Indonesia, making it the go-to choice for espresso lovers seeking a potent pick-me-up. Though lesser known, Liberica and Excelsa add their unique charm to the coffee landscape, cultivated in Southeast Asian regions. While Arabica dominates the market with its exquisite flavors, Robusta is the backbone of many everyday brews. Initially met with suspicion and scorn in the West due to its Islamic roots, Coffee eventually run over the hearts and minds thanks partly to Pope Clement VIII's unexpected endorsement. According to a legend, the Pope, intrigued by coffee's glamour, took a sip before pronouncing it fit for consumption or effectively expelling the idea of it being the devil's drink. The Pope baptized the coffee beans to reassure his followers, symbolically cleansing them of any evil influence. And so, with the Pope's blessing, Coffee's ascent to cultural icon status was sealed, forever rooted in the Western society. From its origins to its dominant acceptance, coffee's journey is as rich and complex as its taste, a testament to its enduring appeal and universal attraction. Spread of Coffee Culture As coffee journeyed across continents and cultures, it underwent a fascinating evolution, linking with the customs and traditions of each region it touched. In the Middle East, coffee houses emerged as vibrant centers of conversation and camaraderie, where people gathered to discuss politics, philosophy, and art over streaming cups of an aromatic brew. Meanwhile, in Europe, coffee houses became synonymous with the Enlightenment era, fostering intellectual discourse and innovation among scholars and thinkers. The spread of coffee to the Americas was a game changer, fueling the growth of these plantations and economies in regions like Latin America and the Caribbean. 
These lands' rich, fertile soils gave the rise to some of the finest coffee beans in the world, cherished for distinct flavors and aromas. In Asia, coffee took on new dimensions, blending with local ingredients and traditions to create unique brews like Vietnamese iced coffee and Turkish coffee with cardamom. Impact on Global Trade Since its discovery, coffee has profoundly impacted global trade, shaping economies, cultures, and societies worldwide. From its origins in Ethiopia and Yemen, coffee spread rapidly across continents, becoming one of the most traded commodities in the world. The global coffee trade flourished in the 17th century, driven by European colonial powers seeking to establish coffee plantations in regions with suitable climates and fertile soil. This led to the mass cultivation of coffee in countries such as Brazil, Colombia, Indonesia, and Vietnam, where favorable growing conditions allowed for large-scale production. The rise of coffee as a traded commodity also spurred the development of complex supply chains and trading networks, connecting coffee-producing regions with consumer markets worldwide. Coffee became an integral part of global commerce, with trading centers and exchanges established in major port cities to facilitate transactions and ensure a steadily supply of coffee to the meat growing demand. So, that's all about the history of coffee you need to know. If you liked the video, subscribe to our channel for more exciting explorations.